Welcome to Clarion Call. I'm Lydia Leonard, and I'm going to share a vision with you that I had in June of 1993. The Spirit came on me so powerfully, I went into a trance. The Lord Jesus appeared to me and showed me black missiles with red markings on them coming out of the west sky, heading straight for the city of Seattle. Then Jesus spoke to me and said, Men have already determined to do this. You will not stay in the Seattle area. I will tell you when to leave and where to go. The Lord has since led us out of Seattle to Eastern Washington. Jesus then showed me straight up in the sky, three stars in one. One was the star of David. One was like the star you would see in the storybooks that led the wise men to Jesus. And the third star was like the sun, a fiery ball. I saw all three stars on top of each other, taking up the same space. I asked the Lord what this was. He said, follow the star and I will show you. As I followed the star, it moved across the sky to where a patch of white clouds had moved in on an otherwise clear day. When it hit the patch of clouds, it turned into a white horse with a rider on it. The horse was running very fast, and the scene took my breath away. I thought, Jesus had returned, but then I knew in my spirit, this rider wasn't Jesus. I was waiting for Jesus to tell me what these things meant when I saw the Bible open and lying on a table and Jesus was turning the pages. He said, I'm going to open my word to you and you will tell my people many things. Again, I saw the Bible and it was opened and standing upright to pronounce God's truth and judgment over the land. The last scene of the vision was a ship, a water vessel of some kind. I think it was a battleship. I was shocked and would look away and then back again, and it was still there. The trance state I had been in throughout most of the vision was beginning to lift, and I could move my body at this point. However, talking was still difficult. After looking a couple of times, and the ship was still there, I asked the Lord what it meant. Immediately, I saw myself, my immediate family, and my close brothers and sisters in Christ on the deck of the ship. When I shared the vision with my husband, I described the star that I saw. He helped me understand that the star of David stood for Jesus, the wise men's star stood for the Holy Spirit, and the fiery ball star stood for Father God. We see here a picture of Trinity God, the Godhead three in one. At this time, the Lord Jesus also spoke to me that the white horse was the one in Revelations chapter 6, verse 2, and that it was riding now. The Spirit then told me the second horse, the red horse of Revelations chapter 6, verse 4, was going to ride soon. We turned to Revelations chapter 6, verse 2, and read about the first horse, who had a bow and a crown was given to him, and he went out conquering and to conquer. I believe this is the horse of false peace because it says he had a bow, but there is no mention of any arrows. Also, we know according to the scriptures that Satan can appear as an angel of light. The fact that it was a white horse leaves the connotation that he is supposed to bring goodness, but he doesn't. The battleship, I believe, represents a place of safety for God's people, like Noah's Ark was during the flood. One last thing. When I shared the vision with my pastor, as soon as I told him about the white horse of false peace riding, he went into the spirit and said the Lord showed him to be looking for a peace treaty to be signed in Israel soon. God gave me the vision June 17, 1993. And in September of 1993, Israel and the PLO 
signed a treaty of peace called the Roadmap to Peace. They are still trying to make it work to this day. Indeed, this is not true peace.